When we got married, it's been, I don't know, three or four, three, four years ago now, um, Jill was our flower girl and Bailey's older brother was our ring bearer. So, you know, they got to go through rehearsal dinner together. They spent a lot of time together getting to know each other. Um, and so since then, they would kind of become instant family. We've done a lot of things together. We went to a hockey game yesterday. Um, the girls play softball together. So there's three kids in one family, four in the other, and they've just sort of clicked. Um, spend a lot of time together, do a lot of things together since the wedding. We created a Relay for Life team. We've gone to Washington, D.C. and ran a 5K for the last two years. This will be year three um, for the American Brain Tumor Association. We've done numerous fundraisers for the family and for cancer foundations. So um, kind of trying to hit both sides, help Jillian and her family with the medical bills and just kind of get through, but also try and reach out to the cancer community in general and, and raise money where we can. It's been a collective effort. So my family, my parents, my sisters, um, Bailey and her family, both of her parents, her siblings have all been involved, Jillian and her family. So it's been a very collective, you know, group there. I think last year we took 14 people to Washington DC to run the 5k. So every time we do something, a few more people get involved and it becomes a bigger and better thing than before. You know, you feel so helpless in a situation like this when you see somebody like Jillian, you know, she was six when she first got diagnosed. She's eight. She'll be nine soon. And she's going through so much and she's being so strong for everybody that the little ways that you can give back, you know, there's not much I can do to help her specifically, but if we can raise money to try and help find a cure or to help find a way to make it a little bit easier for her and her family, then, you know, we can do that. So if we can do it on both fronts, help her personally and help the, you know, with cancer research and cancer fundraising in general, then hopefully that'll help somebody else down the road. So they're not having to go through the same, you know, the same thing she is. Bailey wanted to donate her hair. Um, she wanted a haircut. She's been growing her hair pretty much since she was born. And so um, her and her mom talked about it and decided that she was going to donate it. So we did some research. I got online, did some research about some different places. Um, Wigs for Kids sounded like a great organization. They had a lot of really good reviews. So um, we decided to go ahead and donate to Wigs for Kids. And through that, we were going to do a fundraiser to try and raise money for the American Cancer Society for our Relay for Life team. Uh, we just weren't sure how to go about that. So somebody suggested the GoFundMe website. So we checked that out. Um, it seemed like a pretty good, this pretty good program, so we set up a site on GoFundMe. Our original goal was $500, so we got that up and running. We shared it on Facebook. Some people were sharing it on Twitter. They made it really easy to get the word out. I get goosebumps every time I see a new donation. Um, our two largest donations so far have been anonymous, so they have chosen to remain anonymous to the public. $100 a piece, and they just, you know, gave it without thinking twice. It is absolutely astounding that people have taken such an interest in this and. Um, I'm hoping that it helps to spread word about Jillian's story a little bit more too. So not just focus on Bailey and her hair donation, as awesome as that is, but you know, there's a link on there to Jillian's Facebook page so that people can start following her and seeing um, how her struggle has progressed and how things are going there. It's amazing that um, it, it all started with this one little five-year-old girl who said, yeah, let's cut my hair. I can do it. I can help my friend Jill by cutting my hair. That's easy. And now it's snowballed into this, you know, this big thing and people all over the country are starting to donate money. And it, again, it's nothing, we couldn't have done anything like this without access to the internet and social media.